guys and what's up welcome back to the Saturn crew so today should be quite a cool day so we will take you along everything we do and we will obviously keep you updated so here we are now we are at the next location of this trip which is Azex Jung they basically build a lot of racing trucks and racing trailers and that should give you a bit of a hint of what we are here to do and what we are planning so as you can see behind me there's a lot of trailers and trucks and basically currently we are actually looking to get a truck and a racing trailer so we can take five to six cars to locations where nobody has ever been before and that is exactly what these guys do here the quality is perfect everything looks really cool and I'll show you a bit of the trailers and everything they have around here in detail I'm not sure if I can film everything um, but I'll show you as much as I physically can and yeah this could be the start of a really cool journey and yeah As you can see we're now inside one of these racing trailers and just look at how insanely cool everything looks in here all the white with the LED stripes and the amount of space is just ridiculous. We have obviously two levels which you can simply adjust to um, basically get as many cars in here as possible and you have the normal stairs, two doors on each side uh, on the sides so you can get out and in easily. There's another level here as well and for this specification right here you see there's like there's no office but you can basically have a lounge or like an office here and really also spend a lot of time in here and now the back is actually opening up which is quite cool as well and the door can lift up to like three tons so you can get like a G-Wagon in here as well really easily and yeah it's honestly quite cool. Right now we're looking at the second option which we could actually do for the racing trailer and I think this is like the coolest option because as you can see right now I'm sat in the office um, which looks amazing I'll show you in a second. But the only downside is that you can now only take four cars but at the end of the day that is okay because we still have the G-Wagon and the trailer but just look how cool this is. You literally have a full on office in your trailer with a fridge. TV, a couch, a table, everything you need. It's so cool. Okay, so this is the inside of, let's say, the lounge slash office area in the um, trailer itself. Keep in mind, the, this one is not like finished yet. It's not completed. But as you can see, it's really cool. And because everything is supposed to be about cars here, even the frames of the windows are actually made out of carbon fiber which is really cool. Uh, by the way, this is the one which we just looked at before. And yeah, you just have everything here. You have plugs so you can charge your iPhone, your laptop, your everything. And then if you just walk here, that's where the cars will be. So that is really quite cool. And also just like down here, you have your fridge and everything. I think this is just really quite cool. Now I'm in the back part of the trailer itself and I mean the lighting is just so cool, I'm so excited about the lighting because I can just imagine the satin black cars with this light could look absolutely amazing especially for long road trips and basically for me to explain a bit why we are looking at these things is because we are planning after coronavirus obviously we are planning some really really massive and big trips taking supercars to places where no one has been before with those kind of cars 
and for that we need proper equipment so we thought we might need a racing truck and a racing trailer as well so that could be quite cool and obviously we wanted to share all the journey of getting everything ready with you guys also something which is actually really cool i think you can see right here 1000 kilos so one ton so these things right here are the same here you can literally just push them up and down over this and have like a release system up there um, and literally lift it up yourself for the height of the cars for like the second level and the first level and there's also another level up here which you can't really see because it's currently blocked off so you can get into the lounge and the office um, you have this little stair which you can just move out and you're back in the office which is also separated by a glass door which has soft clothes which is not operational yet because it's not done and yeah everything it just looks so so cool you have speakers which you can like access over your iphone via bluetooth you have air conditioning heating tvs literally everything you could ask for you have in here but this right here is only option two so there's another third option for what you can actually do which i'll show you next it's basically you can extend the walls um, to the outside for the office or lounge area so you have more space which is quite cool as well and we will check that out right now so this right here is how the first option looked from the outside so having the opportunity to have six cars but no office and that is how the second option is having an office and four cars inside um, which is also quite cool you can however also get an option which is five cars and office meaning you have a bit of a like less headroom for the office itself but could also be quite cool but yes let's check out the other variant and this right here is how the third option looks which we're looking at um, so you can see you have those let's call them walls which extend giving you more space in the lounge area also quite cool and you also have a window right there and yeah let's see how this looks from the inside right now i'm in the third variant of what is possible and as you can see behind me already there's a bathroom you can have a shower a toilet a sink everything i'll show you that first and then we'll go into the lounge area um yeah this is quite cool okay so when you get into the truck right here you enter straight away and there is a shower full-on shower a toilet, a sink, and then you have the washing machine and also like a slide out door so you can obviously block this out so no one can watch you when you're on the toilet which is quite important I guess and yes so these are the stairs which lead up to the lounge so when we just go up here this honestly just looks like a yacht from the inside it's so big you have these two leather couches, like one right here, there's the other one. You have your kitchen, a microwave, you have a lot of possibility for storage, fridge, everything, massive TV, air conditioning, and yeah, this is honestly pure luxury. This is quite crazy. I'm sat down right now in the third option, which we have just talked about and yes so this exact option will not be in consideration for us because you can only have two cars sadly and that is just not enough won't do the job for us but for the second option which i've shown you where there's also like the black and white lounge inside you can basically get these extenders as well so having the like the space which you have in here but still being able to carry up to four cars so that is probably the option which is like most attractive towards us and yeah but it's really cool to actually see what is possible and i hope you guys enjoy this as well because this is quite some different content but this is all about taking you on the journey of what is actually going to happen for my father and i it's now going to be time to head towards the office here and talk with the guys about how we would actually do it how our spec would look and what the options actually are which we want to get like a better idea of what is possible and what would like suit the setting crew the best so i'll catch up with you guys right after that and yes this is the beginning of something very exciting hopefully 
So here we are now. We finished our discussion with the guys from Azex Young and really a big thank you to them for the great hospitality and taking their time to show us everything in detail. I think it was quite a cool behind the scenes of actually seeing how these racing trailers look from the inside and what is possible and what configuration you can do. Um, for us it was really a great meeting and hopefully there will be something in the future with them. So let's see, for us it's now time to look at a few different options and really make sure that we find something we really like and yeah, but should be cool, should be really cool, uh, cool. and I hope I can continue to take you onto the journey um, of basically getting the truck, the trailer, everything and then at some point the very first journey. We have something in mind for that and that will be, let's say, quite crazy. It's a place where there hasn't been a lot of supercars, if even one, I am not entirely sure. But that would be something really special, really crazy, and I hope I can take you on the journey for that. Um, but yeah, as you can see right now, I am in the M5 competition LCI. Uh, we have picked the car up again, uh, the tuning is now completed, and the car is ready to rock and roll. And I haven't driven the car in around two and a half months and I really have to say such a great car for long drives the amount of power it has right now is ridiculous and yes oh there's actually a car that GT 63 S right there does not look normal that might be the GT 73 which is coming in the future interesting because the GT 73 well if it's called GT 73 that will basically be the GT63 S four-door, including a hybrid system. So going against like the Porsche Panamera Turbo S. That could be a really cool car in the future. Um, yeah, good spot for the day, I would say. And I will continue the journey now and catch up with you guys later. Now I'm almost at the final destination, uh, which is the BMW dealer because basically the M5 will go into the BMW dealer to get winter tires fitted so we can also have some fun with the car in the snow as soon as like the first snowfall comes and yes after that we will jump into the G-Wagon with the trailer and head towards the north of Germany to pick up the new car uh, which should be quite exciting and I hope you guys will actually like the car it's something different this time um, I'll give you one hint, it's a German brand, um, that's all. The car has never been spoken about on Instagram as far as I remember. Um, so it should be a surprise and that will be shown on Friday. So in Friday's vlog you will see the brand new car and basically the whole delivery process and I'll walk you through a bit of the spec and all that kind of stuff. So that should be great. and. Yeah, so now it's time to drive the uh, last few kilometers towards the BMW dealer and then I'll see you right there. Here I am, I just arrived at the BMW dealer currently just around the corner from it and I'm just waiting for my father now to arrive with the G-Wagon and the trailer and I thought in the meantime I'll actually show you a bit of our M5 competition LCI. So as you can see right in front of me we have our M5 competition LCI which is basically the facelift of the M5 competition where we have fitted a nice Akrapovich system. This is like the full system not just a slip-on and yeah the rest of the car is finished obviously in satin black then we have some gloss black um, accents which are kind of hard to see right now that it's gloss because of the gloomy weather but there's a few gloss accents also around the windows here you can see and in general it's just an amazing car like for long journeys and everything like that it's perfect the fuel consumption to be honest is not the best but that is not the most important thing really so now I'm sat in the M5 competition and I'll show you a few features of our interior, how we spec everything and there's one cool detail which I want to touch on especially because it's a little gift we got from BMW M and it is super cool and we love it. 
So let's start with the steering wheel. On BMW M models, you have these buttons, which are one of them is M1 and the other one is M2. These are really cool because you can basically configure your driving style on them. So let's say on M1, you can configure everything to be comfortable. And on M2, you can configure everything to be extremely sporty and just to have a lot of fun. For example, putting every setting into Sport Plus, two wheel drive mode and traction control off. So you can slide the thing around a bit, which is always great fun. And then we also have the satin carbon fiber all over the car, uh, which just gives a good look in general, I think. Also down here in the console, you can see everything in satin carbon fiber. And then the one thing I wanted to touch on is this right here. So BMW M actually laser engraved the satin crew, our logo, right in front of the car. Uh, right into the dash of the car and I think that looks quite nice it's just a cool touch to have in the car it makes it a bit more special and in general it's literally just like any other BMW M5 competition from the interior we also have the upgraded speakers to the Bowers and Wilkins uh, which are phenomenal great sound experience the digital dashboard which is really nice you have Apple CarPlay on this massive screen right there and other than that, it's literally like any other BMW M5 and we love it to bits. We have also opted for this massive key. So on this key, you can basically get all the vehicle information and start the heating of the car before you get in the morning so it's not that cold. Get your average range, uh, open the windows and everything. Um, the only issue right now is the keys out of battery, so I can't actually show you what is on the screen. Uh, but it's a cool feature, it's a massive key, and I think it just looks kind of cool. It's a bit sci-fi, which is always fun, and these little gadgets are really what make these cars special and fun. This video is now over, I hope you've enjoyed everything, and that you are there for the next video as well. Take care, see you soon, and bye bye.